A very warm welcome back to the channel. In today's aviation news, there's coverage on Ryanair facing 737 MAX delays which are impacting their schedule. Air India is continuing its attempts to turn around as a business and it is eyeing massive international expansion. And lastly, there's coverage on Aeromexico. Let's begin with the headline story and that is Ryanair continuing to express that delays in acquiring new Boeing 737 MAX jets will result in significant shortages for this upcoming summer schedule. As a result, this will negatively impact what it can offer customers. However, one of the more pressing updates for Ryanair is that their initial expectations of acquiring new aircraft, which did factor in delays, have now been dramatically reduced. Essentially, their forecast was incorrect, and now they're planning for the absolute worst case scenario. The major low-cost European airline had initially expected a total of 57 MAX jets. Now, that'll drop to only 40, which means fewer seats will be available. The airline also forecasts explicitly a 10% increase in flight prices as well. This is what they say as a potential ramification that would come directly because of the shortage of aircraft that they're facing. Additionally, the carrier cites the imbalance in the demand that they're witnessing across key routes and generally the supply of which that they can offer. Ryanair went on to also add that the fresh delays that have been encountered follow the most recent door blowout incident on an Alaska Airlines jet at the top of this year, and therefore we've seen the subsequent investigation into Boeing's core production and culture. Also, if you're stretching it further, Boeing's been unable to increase key production rates while having concerns around these aircraft types. Still, it battles certification delays also, and it means that for airlines such such as Ryanair that rely on the MAX type, it's pretty hard for the aircraft to actually be delivered on time. Ultimately, while demand is expected to surge, the airline believes growth will be forced to slow as it targets a 200 million passenger transportation goal by the next financial year, down from the previously quoted 205 million. While looking at that hundreds of millions figure and seeing it, well, it's not that big of a deal, it is still 5 million. This, though, is a worldwide problem. Delays with new aircraft are something that's just not abnormal anymore. Throughout the industry, many other leading and also smaller airlines have forecasted recent delivery delays. As a result, these delays impact the schedule that can be offered to customers. When you throw in the Pratt & Whitney engine crisis, among many other problems, it becomes quite difficult for airlines to actually continue offering a robust schedule. Airlines are now trying to find ways to cope with these delays by, say, looking towards the leasing market in some instances, potentially retaining older aircraft which has a negative financial impact on them or they're simply slicing capacity in half. However way you look at it, it's not ideal. They would like to just have these planes on time but that's not possible. Despite all of this, Ryanair still likes the Max Jet. They actually said that if any US airline cancelled orders for the 737-10 and say the price was right, well, they would definitely look at acquiring them from the said company. The Max is regarded as a fantastic plane when flying safely and without any problems. See, the thing is, though, achieving the latter stages of that statement that is ushered by many airlines has been increasingly more difficult across the last, say, five years or so, and therefore airlines are impacted in more wrong ways than right. Over to Air India, who are continuing to move forward with their turnaround plans by utilising new aircraft to their advantage through an upcoming network expansion. According to local reports, Air India is on the verge of moving forward with new long-ranged flights towards city in the United States. A move to expand towards the United States is being made possible thanks to the addition of newly delivered A350 jets, alongside the expansion of its commitment to the Boeing 777s through a lease. Cities of Los Angeles, Dallas and Seattle are all reportedly being targeted, which would actually significantly increase its current US network if it was to move ahead. The new A350s would likely be deployed towards Seattle. The other aircraft is more considered optimal for the 
the likes of Los Angeles and Dallas, and sources indicated to PTI that flights towards the three aforementioned cities could all begin in time for the 2024-2025 winter schedule. Per Sirium network data, Air India currently serves several cities in the United States. For our data on January 2024, we see that the airline connects Mumbai and San Francisco, Newark and Delhi, San Francisco and Delhi, with significant services per month. Other connections towards Washington, Dallas, New York, Chicago from Delhi are also all present, with Mumbai connected to New York too. Their network is expansive. However, there's a strong view that this needs to improve as more and more people want to travel to and from India. We know that Air India is undergoing a major turnaround of its business with significant amount of money being invested. When I say significant, we're talking over $100 billion. Will this play out successfully? Time will only tell. But no doubt, further expansion to the US is fascinating, and we'll wait to see for confirmation. Aeromexico is the last story in today's coverage, with them announcing plans to continue boosting connectivity between Mexico and the United States. The airline says that from July 1 of 2024, they will launch a new daily non-stop flight between Mexico City International Airport and Tampa International Airport in Florida. Aeromexico will deploy the E-190, which is fitted to seat 99 passengers, while the focus will be on enhancing connectivity towards the United States. For those coming from Tampa to Mexico, they'll be able to access Aeromexico's fantastic domestic network. As part of this new service launch, Tampa will become the 23rd city that the airline will serve in the United States, with several other locations already being very prominent, but also have had several launch in the last few months, or are set to launch in 2024. Tampa is the third city in Florida alone, with 400 monthly arrivals and departures equating to 75,000 seats by the time this flight is up in the air. A fantastic commitment that they'll look to grow with time. Aeromexico also cites that this route has been made possible thanks to their alliance with the major US carrier of Delta. The pair have a pretty close relationship and their joint venture allows for flights between the two countries. However, there's been considerable pushback of this joint venture from the Department of Transportation, or DOT. This pushback will see the airlines need to dissolve their partnership by October 26, 2024. This, though, has been objected by Delta, and obviously Aeromexico did not approve of this either. So they will likely be needing to find ways to not have this go ahead, as they'll want to keep this relationship for the long term. You can let me know your thoughts on any of the topics covered in today's video. Thank you very much for your support here on the channel. It certainly does mean a lot. Take care to be safe, and I'll see you next time. And we'll fly.